healed their wickedness. He wasn't going to play that game. Show me the court of the tributes. Whose image is on it? Caesar's. Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. He doesn't answer their question. Our origin of the doesn't always answer questions. Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, to God the things that are God's. Caesar's are the things that are Caesar's. God's are and things are everything, including Caesar's. But he doesn't answer. These are fools. They do not want the truth. What is it that the truth is? The truth is a lie. The just man lives by faith. What good is the faith if you don't live by it? What does is, what is St. Paul ask in this 22nd Sunday of Pentecost? I want you to live in this charity. I want the fire to grow in your hearts. I want the faith to grow in your hearts until the day of judgment. Because I don't know the day of judgment. Is next Sunday the 24th Sunday? Or is it the Sunday after? Or the Sunday after? We know not the day or the hour. We know we're close. And what are we going to do? Live by the gospel. Spread the gospel. Have confidence in the fire, even if it's found to be in mud. How can you light a fire with mud? Elias light a fire with water. Nehemiah is like a fire with mud. Moses just stood there and God let the fire directly from heaven. And the fire of the Holy Ghost descended upon the apostles. It descended upon the Blessed Virgin Mary and the apostles on Pentecost. And that's the fire we preserve as Catholics. When Thomas went to India, he carried the fire. He built a few buildings. Heretics have some of them now. Others were destroyed. The fire remains. We carry the fire throughout the whole world. The fire remains. We are a religion of fire. The fire of divine truth. We must love this holy fire. And let this fire remain, even in a time of great crisis. In any case, close with that. And this is the best way to prepare for the coming of the judgment of God. And God bless you all then. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen.